Now, I know what you're thinking. Floberg, where have you been? You haven't posted a sub 250 build episode in two weeks. And first off, thank you. That's so sweet of you to say and to be thinking about me in that way. But if you didn't know, I'm actually a filmmaker and photographer by trade. That's my, my job. And I was on a work trip last week down to Texas and I got sick during it and I took three days off, which really pissed me off. More on that later. Today, I wanna to talk about this eight mile aerobic run I have, I'm trying to stay within the 140s BPM wise, and then 10 100 meter strides. And you might be wondering, what are 100 meter strides? And why are they important? Well, we'll get to that all in today's video. On the Sub 250 build, there's a there's a train. Okay, see you soon, bye. That was Alec, he works with me. I'm a freak, I'm an outcast, I'm a shadow I stand with the lost souls Looking for a hustle Got a pulse on the streets I'm the one you won't look in the eye Yeah, well, I can see what's headed for you down that road And soon it's coming to take everything you know Closing in on eight miles now gonna start on the 10 100 meter strides this is not sprinting just moving the legs quickly here we go rep number one my gopro died this isn't a vape it's a microphone and this is a mustache do you like it should make me faster right craig angles every winter i try to grow a beard and a mustache it's a thing more of a problem than anything anyway what are strides <laughs> strides are short bursts of fast running anywhere from like 50 to 150 meters. And this, these are typically done after your workout. So whether it's an easy run, aerobic workout, hard workout, usually not doing them after hard workouts, mostly after easy workouts, your body doesn't build up any lactic acid and it's not breaking down your muscles in the same way as those hard workouts. So it's almost exclusively about mechanics. It's not a sprint, it's not going full out, but it's probably in that 70 to 90% window. I did hundred meter sprints in the last week before my Chicago marathon. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have been going that fast because then I, I had Dom's delayed onset muscle soreness for like four or five days prior to the race. So I was kind of freaking out. Thankfully, the soreness didn't carry into race day, but you have to be super careful with not going too hard. It's going to force you into needing to recover. So what I've heard from other experienced runners, if you're doing these strides two to three times a week, five to 10 reps per time, you're building up tons of miles over weeks, months, and years at those higher paces and teaching your body to run more efficiently, to have better running economy. Really Really just kind of psyching out your brain into like this is how you're supposed to run at faster speeds without having to break your muscles down and this is just one more tool in your toolkit to diversify your training this is where i'm gonna go like full dad mode on you when you want to diversify your income or diversify your investing you always want to do it in a handful of different things so in the same way in running different workouts strides are just another tool to make you run more efficiently to make you faster on race day and that's all i have to say about strides let's get to the training block i have a set update i'm not injured i broke my running streak <laughs> trying to fake like i'm crying Don't, let's not do another apology video <laughs> <laughs> so if we look at last week, I got the first two days in fine. Um, my AM PM recovery day, six miles, four miles. I did the medium long run right before my plane ride that day, 13 miles in the morning. Instead of doing my 15 mile medium long run the next day in Texas, I opted to do a six mile recovery run because the day got away from me. And then the next three days, they got even farther away from me. So I didn't run those next three days, was pretty sick, did not feel well. And when I got back home, I ran a 17 miler, which honestly was great. I ran it in the endorphin speed three again, and it was a progressive run. I didn't really plan for it to be a progressive run. I went out at like a pretty moderate pace, high seven minute miles, just slowly ratcheted my pace down. By the end of it, I was running marathon pace miles for five or six miles and it felt pretty comfortable. So that was really encouraging. And I think that happened because I had three days of rest. My body was recovered a bit, even though I was still sick, it was almost like a mini taper and then gave me the ability to put in a really good effort for the long run. So I'm stoked on that, even though I only got 46 miles in on the week instead of 
of 77, which sucks, but I'm back on track this week with four workouts already done. I got my six miles of recovery, my eight miles of aerobic with the strides, which we featured at the beginning of this video. I switched my medium long run recovery, the days on that. I missed the four miler in the evening because we were just going through a lot of parenting stuff that night and real life is more important than running. That's my philosophy at least. So I needed to be home for my family that night. Decided not to do it. Might make up those four miles throughout the rest of the week. And then after the recovery, the next day did a medium long run, 15 miles on a treadmill. It was stupid. <laughs> I really don't recommend running 15 miles on a treadmill, but when you have to, you have to, right? There's a really funny clip of me trying to film my video for Strava and I accidentally unclipped the safety thing and stopped my workout <laughs> at like mile 11. <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. I got completely discombobulated on how many miles I was. And then I had to go take a poop. It was bad. It was bad news. But I'm happy that I'm back on track. I should get this 70 miles in this week, ramping up to now 84 next week. I'm focused. I'm dialed. I'm ready to go. I'm feeling good. Fitness is going great. It seems like I'm on pace to still crack that sub 250. So that's reality. I was hoping I would get every single day in this training block. It's not how it worked out. That's okay. We rolled the punches. Get up, get out. See you in the next one.